How you doing, hey, man? Up, man? How are you? I looked at the trailer. I thought, like, super bad, full comedy. I go into it, it's comedy, it's dark, it's powerful. Yeah. Like, when you set out to do this, like, how did you decide on the pace and how to, like, have those beats where people could laugh and then people could take stuff real serious? Uh, you know, I mean, it was really, for me, grounded in the friendship relationship, you know? Like, that was the heart of the film, and I really wanted to tell a love story about these young black men who see the world differently, and uh, this thing that's thrust upon them is pulling them apart. And the humor of the film was coming from how they are interacting with each other and the decisions of what they're trying to do in this comedy of errors. So. Uh, we didn't push for comedy. We the comedy just came from that uh, those those uh, decisions that they were trying to make, and everything around it was like they're kind of in a horror movie for the night, right? Yeah. But you know, it's funny how like yo the dude is like you see this this way, you see this this way, and the beauty of that is like there's this difference within our own community of how to handle the situation. You know, like I wanted to show the complexities and the nuances of a young black male friendship. Um, and how they can be pulled apart and come back together and be vulnerable and show each other that they love each other at the end of it all. So, yeah. I mean, as a director, I mean, there's been so many, you know, great directors that, that have put stuff out there on film. Like, what, what did you see or experience that made you want to get into this and, and direct your own project? Man, I grew up watching films. I'm a, uh, I'm a basically an only child, and uh, that was my babysitter, basically watching films. And I just love like the worlds that I saw as my babysitter, basically. So, um, you know, I just was like, I want to create these worlds that will touch people and like, you know, give them sort of the same thing that I had it was like something to see that like can live with them, maybe change their lives, because films can change your life. You make you see uh, see things in a different way, and um, I want to be a part of that uh, that movement in a way. Yeah. And, uh, you know, RJ, I know he's done uh, a couple of uh, interesting projects, but, I mean, getting the right talent for a project like this has to be so important. What did you see in those uh, two main characters uh, that, that made you say, like, these are the people that's going to make this pop? Bruh, I, I am so blessed with the cast, man. Like, and RJ, I had worked with him on another film called Our Hashtag J just before this. And that dude is fantastic. So I jumped at the chance to work with him and he jumped at the chance to work with me, thankfully. And then uh, our casting director, Kim Coleman, brought uh, Donald to us. And that chemistry over Zoom was like incredible. And I was like, yo, if this chemistry is like this over Zoom, like wait till we get them together and like all that. So, and then we brought Sebastian in and they were, they played with Sebastian. They were already a duo. They played with Sebastian and that shit was like so like, so like gelled and there's a synergy there. I was like, yo, we're good. Then we brought, you know, Sabrina Carpenter in. I met with her and she really understood the character and everything. So the cast, hands down, I, I feel like it was a blessing to have them. They killed uh, their their roles, and I'm so thankful. Can't wait to see whatever you got coming out next. It's a great movie. I really enjoyed it, you, and uh, I'm uh, you on my radar, man. I'll be following everything. Bro. Thank you, brother. Thank you.